YouTube family, man. It's your boy King. Look, I just picked up the camera. I was gonna start recording some videos for y'all, and I was like, damn. Like, I know y'all seen the differences in my content creation room from when I was recording videos months to like a year ago. Don't y'all ain't gonna be seeing this video, bro. Like, no bullshit. If the content ain't worth it, y'all ain't gonna be seeing it, man. Compared to now. It's my first pair of Dior B22s, bro. So, I really hope they are great. Great-ass quality as well. When I got all the different shit added in there and the LEDs and shit. But I was like, I never really gave them a content creation room tour. So, I figured, let me go ahead and do that for y'all today. Before I start recording all these other videos, I'm about to come to y'all with two different jean collections videos, a Boohoo Man jean collection video, a Fashion Nova jean collection video. I'm probably gonna do a sneaker collection vid and all that shit, but I was like, damn man, I really, I really ain't like showing them in depth the shit that I got from my content creation room. I know I pointed it out and shit, but I was like, let me go ahead and give y'all a little content creation room tour. So as y'all see by the title and the thumbnail, man, I'm about to go ahead and give y'all a quick tour of my content creation room. Um, I'm gonna put some clips in here too for my new subscribers. If y'all ain't see the way that the room really began looking compared to how I look now, bro, it's way better, it's way cleaner. Um, and you'll see, you'll tell the differences clearly. Uh, real shit, it's not gonna be a long ass video, it's gonna be quick as hell. Cause it's just really, it's an extra room um, in my crib and shit that I'm using for my content creation and shit. So it's not like the biggest space, it's not something wild. And the shit that I got, it's not major, but it makes a difference, you feel me? One side of the room is kinda being used for storage and shit. The other side is like where y'all see my my content creation space for real for real. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little tour of the uh the room and I hope y'all fuck with the video man. If you're new to the channel go ahead like comment and subscribe fam. We're gonna roll the 2k subs fam we like 60 or 70 subscribers away so y'all make sure y'all smash that like button smash the subscribe button turn on your post notifications and let's go ahead let's get into it. Yeah a vibe this shit is a vibe, bro. And I'm gonna switch the lights for y'all, man. These LEDs, they do change colors. And these LEDs, they actually react to music and shit. So if I had music playing, them shits would react to it. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna change the colors for y'all, too. All right, y'all, I got it on the color changing setting and shit, too. Y'all see certain colors really look better for this shit, low key. Um, but, man, this shit is a vibe. When I wanna go in my own personal space and everything, just be by myself or just listen to some music or when I want to work real heavily. This is where I come to, man. I come to my content creation space. Um, but I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to turn the light on now just so y'all can. I'm going to really show y'all everything in depth and y'all can really tell what everything is for real, for real. All right, so first glance when you walked in, bro. I got a little basket over here for real, for real. It's kind of messy right now. I normally have it a lot more organized. This got some of my clothing brand supplies and shit up in it. Um, poly mailers, some uh, poly mailers, shipping labels, my shipping scale. I got an extra little speaker over there. I got a little journal or a little planner, shit like that. Extra tripod on the floor. Like I said, it's kind of messy, but I normally don't keep it that way. Now, we come over here, man. So from this angle, I'm gonna show y'all as well, man. So that is my desk setup over here, type shit. And then I got a tripod. This is a, a tripod right here. And then I got the newer ring light setup. I got it turned facing the wall, y'all. Because when I do videos, um, especially when I do like TikTok videos and shit, I don't, I don't have the ring light facing directly to me, especially if I'm wearing my glasses because y'all can see the light bouncing directly in my glasses and shit. If I have it up too bright, that shit hurt when it's in my eyes, like in my face and it's annoying. If, if you know, you know, if you're a content creator, you know, you know. So what I learned a trick is put the ring light against the wall at an angle to where when you turn the shit up bright, the light will still bounce off the fucking wall and still reflect on you to give you that same effect that you're looking to get for real for real so that's that over here this is my desk set up man shout out to ice click on the moistenite pendant no cap if you ain't watched that video go watch that they just sent me this new pendant out the lighting in here right now is pretty bad so it ain't it ain't dancing how i normally would type shit but 
Y'all can still see it a little bit. Like I said, man, shout out to Ice Click. Y'all go watch that video. I just dropped that a couple days ago. Got my computer and monitors over here. Um, those are for my actual job. Like I said, man, I still work a full a full time job. So I'm doing this shit and I'm still content creating for y'all. Like I'm really out here grinding. So those are for my full time job. So I'm not gonna go too depth into that. I do work from home. Uh, over here, I got my iMac as well. So that's my iMac set up with a little cheap LED mouse type shit with the mouse pad. I think I got them shits from like Dollar General, Dollar Tree. Nothing expensive, bro. It's just a mouse. Uh, I use this shit every now and then. I got this little keyboard. It's an extra keyboard. And this is the remote for the LED lights, of course. There's a window over here. So I put some shades over there, some blackout curtains. Um, Cause if not, that shit was getting bright as fuck beforehand. Over here, I got some posters, execute. Grind, man. You you got to make sure you execute. Stop talking and put in the motherfucker work, bro. If you trying to be a content creator, you trying to get shit done. Stop talking and put in the work. I also got grind over here, fam, to perform repetitive tasks over and over in order to attain a goal, man. Like I said, you a content creator, whatever it is you trying to do in life, bro. Hit them fucking goals, bro. You gotta grind, nigga. Like the shit not gonna work for itself. You feel me? You really want some shit, you gotta go out there and get it, gang. Like, I don't know, I be seeing a lot of people who be saying they got these dreams, these plans, these wishes, these hopes, and niggas don't be putting the work in. Niggas do not be putting the work in. I ain't gonna lie, I be slacking sometimes. I be slacking a lot. Personally, a lot of people think I don't slack at all. But my opinion of myself, I feel like I slack a lot, bro, on my mama. But shit, I still at least be grinding when I got the chance, when I feel like I got the energy, the chance, the opportunity, bro. And shit, even when I don't got the energy, nigga, you got to put in that work, bro. You really want this shit? You got to put in that work, nigga. But shit, look, we got hustle over here, too. Can't forget hustle, nigga. The only controllable pillar of success, nigga. Hustle, that's the biggest part. Like, in my opinion, that's like the mentality. The mentality for you to have that hustle, that, that focus, that discipline and shit. I feel like if you don't got the hustle in you, for them hard times where you got to make shit work until you can see them better days, nigga. I don't know. I feel like that's where a lot of motherfuckers go downhill at. A lot of them niggas, a lot of niggas don't got that hustle, you feel me? The whole L-shaped desk. I got that shit from Amazon for like $120, bro. Cheap ass price. I mean, even got some storage down at the bottom. I got like some railings. I got some of my Beats headphones, some of my camera accessories, shit like that over there. Um, I got a little drawer over here on the side as well. Y'all can see that. And then I got my, uh, I got a fucking shredder down there at the bottom. I got extra storage down there. So I got a shredder over there with some important papers I need to shred and shit like that as well. Got some workout equipment. The light shit is these resistance bands right here. I need to get some heavier ones. But then I got this push-up board over here type shit. I'm trying to work on getting some more home uh, fitness equipment, some home workout equipment. So I'm probably, I might go cop a pull-up bar later on today, low-key. Um, I might do that, and then I want to get some adjustable dumbbells. I had a good ass ab roller a couple years ago, and I don't know what exactly happened to that bitch. So I gotta get a new one of them too. But a nigga trying to get back like fit how it used to be, type shit. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on that too. Um, I'm gonna save the best shit for last. Y'all already know the best shit in my content creation space that y'all be seeing is basically my shoes and the tapestry. Um, over here, I got these simple ass lamps, bro. Straight from Walmart. Now, really, I had these because we already had them for the apartment. Uh, these were originally in the living room, but we decided to change it out to black type shit. So then I just kept these bitches for in here. I'm probably going to end up switching those back out to black too for in here. Uh, Then, yeah, man. I mean, other than that, for real, for real, the other shit we got is my shoes, of course. Which, stay tuned because, like I said, I'm about to do a sneaker collection video for y'all, bro. These Dior's right here, I need to clean them off. I went to a fucking shooting range for my birthday and they got all muddy and shit, but y'all see the sneaks, man. Comment what sneaks y'all peep down below. Comment your favorite pair if you could tell. I know they're in the boxes clearly, but if you could tell the boxes, man, let me know your favorite pair that you could tell right there type shit. And then right here, we got the fat ass bait tapestry. Y'all see how big that shit is? like. I'm gonna show y'all perspective in a minute, how far away I am. Don't mind the shit on the left, that's some of the shit I was talking about with storage and all that. But y'all see the bait tapestry, man. 
That shit big. It covers that Bape Tapestry covers damn near the whole back wall. Now that Bape Tapestry, uh, the Bape Tapestry, I bought that from Redbubble actually. I think it was it was like sixty something dollars. Matter of fact, I think I pulled it up so I could show it to y'all. Uh, all right, the Bape Tapestry was sixty dollars and eighty four cents. Cheap as fuck, and that shit is. 104 inches by 88 inches like I said man it basically take up damn near the whole entire back wall besides eight inches eight nine inches type shit um, but it covers the whole back wall because I was trying to find shit like I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some b-roll my videos beforehand and they're like right now probably and y'all gonna see the whole empty back wall and all that shit like it just looked too plain too simple I was not fucking with it bro so I was like nah I gotta I got to make this shit better for my content and just for my own personal self. Like, I really wasn't vibing with just the straight plain wall. So, I'm like, nah, bro. Something got to give. So, I started looking shit up and I found that shit. I was like, oh, fuck. That shit. And y'all clearly see, like, it looked like the Bape shit. It's like its own neon lights. The whole tapestry is Bape. And the Bape is basically like neon light type shit. I saw that shit and I was like, yo, that... With my own LED lights, that'll make that shit bust, bro. And I was like, you know what? I think we got a vibe, fam. I think we got a vibe. So I went ahead and caught that bitch. Um, like I said, $60. It's a little simple shit like that, man. Like, if you want to elevate your content, make sure you your content creation space, whether it's a room or just a corner of your room, whatever it is, make sure it look good. It look organized. It look, it look like it would attract the people that you want to watch your content. You feel me? Like, it's going to attract them viewers, the audience, fam. So, like I said, man, that's my content creation space. The whole other side is, like, storage shit, um, clothes mainly. Fucking extra clothes and shit like that that's just all packed up some of my girls esthetician equipment and all that shit so y'all really don't need to see all that but yeah man that's that's really the space right there but i'm gonna turn these leds back on fam so y'all can get the vibe again That's basically it right there, man. That's the content creation space. Like I said, it wasn't going to be a long video, but I figured I would just go more in depth to let y'all see, like, how simple shit can really change and affect your content and the feel of your content and how viewers watch and see your videos. You feel me? So it's a little simple shit like that. Um, I forgot to add the prices for these posters, man. The posters, um, the actual pictures, like the hustle, execute, and grind i got those pictures actually from like etsy type shit uh for maybe ten dollars a piece or something for the actual prints i went and i got them printed at walgreens i think for all three of them it was like thirty dollars type shit um if you go to get poster prints at walgreens they always have a sale bro just to put y'all on game they always got like a 50 to 60 percent off sale um but yeah man so i think i got all three of them printed for like thirty dollars the actual poster frames they were, these are 20 by 30 inches. Um, they were like $13 a piece at Walmart. So like $39 for the poster frames, like $30 to get all three of them printed all together. And then when I originally paid for them, $30. So you're paying around $100 all together for the poster frames. You might be able to find them cheaper now, but that's what I paid. I, mean, I just want to go ahead and include that for y'all. I hope y'all fuck with the content creation room, the in-depth video. Just give me y'all a quick little tour, fam. I'm about to drop some more videos soon, so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. For my new subscribers, y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, all that. Turn on your post notifications and shit. I'm going to catch y'all on another video soon, gang.